Hey, what's up guys? Mad Zach here with DJ Tech Tools, and today I'm going to be sharing with you three creative techniques for integrating a hardware synthesizer, such as this Moog Sub Fatty, into your Ableton setup, whether it's for production or performance. Let's dive right in. In terms of the routing, you just want to make sure that you have your MIDI cable plugged from the back of your audio interface, your audio MIDI interface that is, into the input on your synthesizer and then you want to make sure that the audio out is going from the synthesizer into the interface. So that's the setup, it's really quite simple. Next up we're going to go into Ableton over here. Um, so what we're going to do is create a new MIDI track. I just hit Apple Shift T to do that, that was the hotkey. And then we're going to drag an external instrument on there like this, okay? So as you see in the external instrument, you have a MIDI 2. You're going to choose your audio MIDI interface here, Ederol FA66 in our case. Um, then you also want to select the channel, which in our case is channel 1. Um, and then audio from, you want to choose the input that you have the synthesizer plugged into. So in our case, channel 2. So that's really it. We're going to make a new little clip. Hit play and let's start sending some MIDI. Go a little lower. So there. We can come over here on the synth. So that's it. We've got a loop playing MIDI in Ableton. It's coming through and playing on the synthesizer. And now I can come over here and tweak on the synth a bit. Pull the filter, maybe a little sub oscillator. But of course, it's just not going to be that funky unless we pull in a beat. So for that reason, I have a drum rack set up here with a couple of different patterns. And let's drop that pattern. For the second technique that I'm going to share with you today, I'm basically going to come over here to the synth and record maybe a few minutes of me noodling around on the keys, trying different patches and just making different weird sounds. Then we're going to take that full clip of audio and chop it up to a groove um, and achieve something that we would never be able to achieve with straight MIDI. To do that, we're going to cruise over to the arrangement view. As you can see, I have a new audio track here. I'll name it um, synth audio and it's armed but it's muted which means that even though we're going to be recording on it we're not going to be monitoring it while we're recording it we're just going to be monitoring monitoring sorry still through our external instrument um, so let's go back to the beginning of the timeline hit record and then I'm going to cruise over here to the synthesizer and I'm just going to mess about So once we've recorded a nice little chunk of audio there, let's put down a groove, some sort of beat that we can um, start chopping to. And now I'm just going to start taking little bits that I like. And I'm just going to paste it over here and we'll, we'll fine tune it in a second. That's really cool. Okay, and now we're gonna get here and get a little bit more technical. This is pretty fun, you can duplicate things like this. I also really like reversing um, stuff that I've recorded on the synthesizer. So you can just hit reverse there.
The cool thing as well, once you have the audio like this, is that then you, then you can also throw in uh, more effects and do cool kinds of automation. So for example, I want to do like a little sort of donk thing here. I can just open up that automation chain, pull this down, duplicate a few times. So that's the second technique. As you can see, you have a lot of flexibility once you get it into audio, and you can do a lot more sort of cutty manipulation in that realm than you can um, with automation and with MIDI. All right, so the third and final way that I'm gonna show you how to integrate this hardware synthesizer into your setup is to actually pull it into a more of a song production mode where you have a lot of different things going on, and we're gonna be using a a series of MIDI clips, um, playing with the patches over here, and we're even going to draw some automation in Ableton that will then control the hardware synth. So let's check this out. I have a beat pulled up that's a, a new collaboration in the works with my buddy G. Jones. Um, so here's what it sounds like currently without um, the added bass line. Okay, so as you can see, I have this track loaded up. It has an external instrument um, like we did earlier in the video. Same settings, Ederall channel one coming from audio two. Um, also, I've just a sidechain compressor on here to help it glue in the mix. So I'm gonna unmute that and um, yeah, let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> Okay, so it sounds really cool. I want to now go ahead and automate that, um, you know, filter cutoff stuff that I was doing over here on the synth into Ableton um, because I want to be able to keep working on the song without having to always reach over here and be twiddling on the knob. So it's really easy. Most modern synthesizers except uh, MIDI to control their parameters, at least some of them. So I'm gonna bust out the manual here and let's take a look in the back. As you can see here, in the back, in the back, there's all the values. So I'm gonna go through here and just look for the filter cutoff. Filter EG, no, I don't want that. Filter frequency cutoff. Okay, so it's CC19. So here's what we're gonna do. As you can see, these are all separate clips, but since we want to do one fluid stream of automation, we're going to grab them all and hit Apple J to combine them into one. Now, unfortunately, you can't do this sort of MIDI automation right here in the timeline. You have to do it inside the clip. So I'm going to double click inside the clip. And then um, if you don't see it already, you want to hit this E for envelope. And then you're going to go MIDI control. And then you want to select CC19 here. So now you have CC19 selected. One more quick thing we want to do before we go any further is you want to make sure that in your audio MIDI preferences in Ableton that under the output for your audio MIDI device you want remote selected in addition to track. So if you just have track that's just going to send the notes but if we have remote selected then we'll be able to send this sort of parameter automation. Okay so now let's go ahead and just start drawing some stuff in here. So I kind of wanted to start low and then do a little bit of a, a dip up and then come up really high for this part. And let's loop that one section as well.
So that's pretty much it. Of course, I can duplicate the clip, maybe do a little bit of different automation in the second one to keep it fresh. So I hope that you enjoyed this video on creative ways to integrate a hardware synthesizer with your Ableton setup. Um, I know for me, it's a huge part of my workflow, whether I'm making sound packs or working on tunes or just jamming out with friends. Have a good one, guys. Mad Zach here for DJ Tech Tools. I'll see you next time. Adios.